So we're in Gates County, North Carolina, where we're at our 15th puppy mill bus since June of 2011. There are approximately 40 dogs, nine ponies, and then there's chickens and turkeys and ducks. We're seeing dogs without proper food and water. We're seeing dogs in stacked crates. There's a nursing mother with no bedding. I don't even know the last time she's been out of that crate. It is just so sad to see some of these animals just look so hopeless. I've been the county sheriff now for going on 16 years, and this is one of the worst cases of animal cruelty. One little cock spaniel I just had in my hands was matted up real bad, could hardly walk on her feet because they were so mad that she was walking on her toes. And then after only a few steps, had to lay down because she was just so exhausted to give out. There was one little Boston that you could feel every single bone in his body when I picked him up. There was nothing for him to eat in there at all. He's eating the waste of the other dog. The one rabbit had a, a, a long-term type of issue going on with its neck and it could literally just walk in circles. There's a dog that is in the kitchen in a stack crate and I don't know if she's pregnant or what their intention was for her, but when we found her she had no food and no water and she was living in absolute filth. The ammonia level in the room was just egregious. In North Carolina, we currently have no rules or regulations in place for people that sell dogs directly to the general public. We currently have a puppy mill bill that's pending. It made it through the House and now it's time to get it through the Senate and this is exactly why our senators need to step up and pass HB 930. They will be removed from the property today and the dogs and cats will go to the SPCA of Wake County and the SPCA of Northeastern North Carolina. Holding these dogs is absolutely wonderful, knowing what they've been through and knowing where they're going. They are just so sweet and so happy just to have attention and care.